Um, it started in um, August of uh, 05, and I went in for a regular physical, um, which I had not had for many years. And so that was the first um, really interesting thing that, you know, they found this through that first physical. And my first diagnosis was MDS, which is myelodysplastic syndrome, which has to do with the red um, cells. And um, the doctor said that through a bone marrow biopsy that this was more sinister than it looked. Um, just before Memorial Day, we went in and my white count was off the charts. And so they admitted me within a week and uh, we started the chemo right away. So then the next process was finding the donor. And that's supposed to be pretty hard, but we were very fortunate and as that um, they did find a donor for me. And that, again, is where the Lord stepped in. And uh, I mean, there's, his handwriting is just all over this, you know. And um, so that was on the 7th. And then, you know, I've just made steady progress ever since then. Who would have believed that we would be going through uh, something that just arrived out of the blue? Um, we see the Lord's blessing in the fact that I hadn't had a physical in a long time and then so I went and said to Judy, you need to go and get a physical. Uh, we, we see his hand in uh, the fact that we were monitored day every, every two weeks from August and September of last year through Memorial Day and they caught this, this um, MDS transforming to leukemia. Um, just as it was occurring. You know, I trust in the Lord, and I put my hope in the Lord and His promises that He's given us. I think that um, that hope and joy, um, particularly, are um, are things that everybody needs and looks for. Um, that uh, that a positive, hopeful joyous person um, you want to be around people like that you you want to uh, be part of what makes that person the way they are I tell them that God has a plan and you know we certainly don't know what it is but that I believe that there is some good reason and um, I think two things for us was um, the ability of my daughter to come down from uh, Idaho um, for a period of seven weeks over the two different times I was in the hospital and be such a support, a loving support. She is just evens everything out. She's very calm. And um, then the other thing was that our son returned to the Lord. That was the number one thing and I told Hunter I said, if nothing else, you know, comes from this, that would be enough right there. We have, you know, hope in the fact that um, Jesus was born to be our Savior and that, you know, we look to Him as our Lord and without Him um, there would be no hope.